Hi, my name is Rahul Verma and I am doing my Boeing 737NG type rating at Poltec Aviation Academy. Uh, well, firstly, uh, we are very interested in the industry in your country. Well, basically, uh, the forecasts for uh, commercial aviation in India are very optimistic. Uh, we read loads of articles uh, on the planes, uh, hundreds of planes to be inducted, and uh, the forecasts uh, that India would, is going to become the number three uh, commercial aviation market by 2030. I wonder, uh, do you feel this rapid growth happening in your country? Yeah, the things are going up very nicely. Since like past five years, things are picking up. The fleet has almost doubled, like as compared to the fleet five years back. And more and more people are getting into aviation because in the last decade, the careers in uh, aviation are picking up. It was not the same case a few years back. And India being a big country, there are so many places, so the airline industry can connect India pretty well. So, and the aviation is making business as it's making pretty good business in India. So it is very optimistic and things are looking good for the future. So, and you also mean that there's a huge competition among uh, the pilots? Yeah, that is true. Uh, 2006, there was a boom in aviation industry. This is where everything started picking up. More and more people, you know, went abroad to do their pilot training as well as they started doing training in India to be a pilot because the pay is pretty good in India. A six-figure salary to start off is pretty good. But this aviation industry is a, you know, is a vicious cycle, you can call it. It has boom, then it falls down, again it picks up. So at the moment we have around three to 4,000 unemployed pilots in India who are just normal seatbelt holders. Like they have done their flying from the FTOs and they are in India looking for jobs. And since there are three, 4,000 people, there is obviously competition. And there are less number of type rated pilots in India. So to be among the top of the competition, type rating will benefit you very much. What do you think? So, uh, what are the reasons those pilots are without the jobs? Why don't they succeed? It, they will succeed, it will take time. Because 4,000 people, for f to, get in, to induct 4,000 people you need a fleet of 100, 200 aircrafts at one go. That is not possible. We get aircrafts like 10, 15, 20 aircrafts per year and people get hired. It is not that they will remain unemployed but they will get hired with time. And what do you think, uh, like uh, finishing your studies, uh, your trainings in the foreign country, in the Western country, does it give you uh, the competitive advantage? Yeah, it does. European aviation has got the best standards if you compare it with the other parts of the globe. So getting a type rating done in Europe will certainly help me. And uh, I wonder, how did you choose uh, the Baltic Aviation Academy? I always want to do, you know, come to Europe to do my flying because I already told you the standards are pretty good in Europe. And Baltic found it on the internet, had a word with Rita's who was very supportive, thanks to him. And everything was fine and we landed here. And so how do you feel learning here? And uh, did, the, did the conditions meet your expectations? Yeah, the conditions actually they definitely met our expectations. It was actually higher than what we expected. So we are very happy to be in Baltic. How did you decide uh, to train to become a pilot? See, always a childhood dream. Because I always thought I would do something different. Because people, I guess the students in India, they, you know, they go into engineering, doctors, and all these, you know, common professions. This was something different and I always intended to do this. Because <laughs> I, I was like, never, never fond of engineering and medical. Maybe you remember at what age did you really decide after finishing this this Just after my schooling when I was 18, I got into this industry. Then I went to New Zealand for my initial flying. Finished my flying, got my Indian license, then waited for a year so that things may, you know, improve and we get a job. Now I'm in Baltic doing my type rating. Hopefully I go back and get a job soon. And what do you think? Uh, what qualities uh, should a good pilot have, the main qualities? Becoming a pilot is a big ask. You need to be very responsible, very disciplined. You know, that is the main major qualities that you need to possess. You need to be punctual. You know, that's it. And the stress management? Yes, yeah, stress is obviously there, but you have to manage it well. Because you are carrying two to three hundred people on board. Their lives are in your hands when you are up in the air. So you have to be very patient, calm, and very smart to, you know, fly the aircraft. And uh, if you were uh, 
in the job interview of a very huge like Western company and they would have hundreds of other candidates. How could you tell uh, your main qualities are distinct to you from the other pi uh, upcoming pilots? See, first of all, getting a typewriting from Europe, that will give me an edge. And then how you present yourself, how confident you are, that will definitely show up and things will be better. What is it like to come to study in Europe? How do you feel here? Just pretty awesome actually, Europe. I never, I, this is my first experience in Europe and I'm, I'm liking it actually. Although I don't have time to go out, but still whatever time I have, I'm pretty enjoying it pretty much. What do you think uh, are the strongest sides of commercial aviation in India, like taking the India as a market? Indian market is, you know, in another 10 years, this, what I think it will be one of the biggest markets all over the world. India being a seventh largest country in the world and the, the major connections across the country will be possible only by the airline industry. So definitely it is a positive thing that is happening in India that airline is you know getting pushed and the government is also helping with it the national carrier Air India they are you know actually doubling their fleet in another 10 years they're ordering 15 20 aircraft per year and we have the youngest fleet among the other parts of the globe so aviation industry in India is it's the next big thing which is coming up and do you think uh, Indian pilots uh, have some differences from the Western pilots and do you see them? Th there is not much of a difference being a pilot in Western or in, in, in India. It's just the same. But the thing in India is like you, at a very young age, you are given a big responsibility. That is not the case with the Western people. To, to be a captain on Boeing or some other aircraft, there is an age limit of 25, 30 years. And you need a lot of experience to be captains. But in India, it's not the same. Because I have friends who are uh, captains on Boeing 737s and they are 18, 19 years old. Really? Yeah. And how did they do that? They started flying in 2006, like they are, they are like 22, 23 now. They started off in 2006 when there was boom. So now they have 2,000, two, two, two 3,000 hours on type and they are getting commands. Recently I read in the internet, there is one female in, from Mumbai. She is the youngest captain, young, youngest female captain. She has 3,000 hours on type on ATR. And at the age of 21, she's the youngest captain in the world. So this is the difference between flying in India and flying in Europe. I see. So basically that's it, I think. Maybe all the best for your career. And one more thing, special thanks to the staff and support staff of BAA. Everyone is very good, very helpful, and it feel, feels like home in BAA. I'm very happy with everything.